right, so here we have the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III. So let's open it up and take a look at what comes inside the box. And just an FYI, I already did open it up just to make sure everything was in there and it was cool. So everything's in there, but we can actually take a look at it again, you know, for those who are looking to see what's inside of this. Okay, so let's open this up. Boom, 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 boom nice okay and just like every every other product that comes with a booklet and some papers okay so this is canon okay so it's some sort of cloud maybe an app android yeah so it's an app pretty much like with every camera they want you to upload to you know whatever you know for convenience and stuff like that you know i respect it and this right here is a warranty make sure you fill this out i mean if i'm gonna be honest with you i don't think i've ever filled out a warranty for any product that i got but because usually I've never had to contact the company to fix an issue with the product. So, I mean, but it's still important to check, this, especially with this camera. It's probably going to be one of the first things that I fill out for this. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to that, I guess. So here is the booklet. Getting started. PowerShot G7X. Download the electronic manual. Bro, what? Why do I have to download the electronic? What's a stick ass book for? <laughs> okay so pretty much the basics how to put in the camera and stuff like that all right we got it you know what i mean we really don't need a booklet for that okay so here is the product what's in here now this right here more than likely yeah it's the camera come on i mean who am i kidding right so okay so let's get the camera out you would think that a camera especially in a box that it would be a little bit more like protected you know what i mean especially if it's being shipped but okay, so here is the G7 Mark III, baby. Yeah. I mean, it's beautiful, right? I really dig the grip pattern that they have here. It's super important, especially when they put this just so your hand can feel snug. And what's even more cooler is this part here. So you can hold it up like this. So if you're taking pictures, videos, and stuff like that, you can hold it still. And it doesn't feel like it's going to fall out. And for me, it feels even more comfortable because I don't really got small hands. So it, I feel like I'm really covering much ground with this. So even if I think I'm going to drop it, I still have a firm grip on it. So it's freaking nice. Okay, so here we have the flash. Ha ha ha, nice. We have the flash. We have the on and off. We have the zoom in, zoom out. And then we have the modes, right? I'm going to have to kind of go through a tutorial or, you know, see some videos. Yeah, or something like that. Just to kind of figure out what each one can do so I can utilize this camera to its full potential. And then here, um, this, the recording button. I don't know what this is, actually. I'm going to have to look that up. I know, right? Like, how the fuck don't you know? I don't know, bro. I don't know. So this right here is you can go through your library and stuff like that, your gallery. The menu, obviously, that's kind of self-explanatory. And then here, info, all that stuff to kind of scroll. And again, I'm going to have to kind of look up to see what all these functions are. Then here is an HDMI. Yeah. And here, I guess, is where you can connect to the Wi-Fi and stuff like that. So hdmi and usb c nice i thought it would just be a regular usb but cool usb c nice okay and right here is the mic function yeah that's kind of what i was looking forward to when i was gonna get when i was getting this and then here is a flash button here so cool 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 but one thing that i did like when i was looking up tutorials is this thing right here look at that boom baby so if i'm recording I can see myself because like obviously like you don't want to record if, if the camera was fixed like this and you're recording and then you're kind of cropped out or something it would suck big time to have to record all over again so this is super super convenient to do right of course i love that that's that's kind of was the main draw for me aside from the video qualities that i've seen on youtube so yeah man everything looks beautiful nice nice quality i really enjoy that so um here let me see okay and this right here is the um uh, yeah the battery charger which is super useful because i used to have a nikon i'll talk about it in a little bit but i used to have a nikon and it took regular double a triple a i think batteries or something like that was not a fan of that and i feel like that affected the quality i could be wrong because i'm not much of a tech guy but um having this right here just makes me feel like it's a solid camera and so here we have the battery okay nice and then we have what I assume is a strap. Yes, the strap. Like I said, put it around the wrist. If you drop it, it's just going to hang there. So, you know, super useful. And this, I assume, is um, it's a warning of some kind. Uh, let me see. Reduce the risk of fire. Okay, so I guess like so you don't plug, you know, the charger somewhere where it's not supposed to. But, yep, that's everything that was inside the box for the G7X Mark III. So uh, we're going to take some videos and I'm going to compare this camera 
compared to my phone camera. Let's take some pictures, let's take some videos and kind of see the difference in quality. So let's do that. All right, now, now that I set up both cameras here to kind of take a look at which one is which, the G7X Mark III, I think looks freaking amazing. I love that the background just automatically blurs itself and it focuses right on my face. And uh, the light too, like the lights help a lot. And I like that my face doesn't look all red because sometimes when I'm recording on my phone, my face does look red. So turning to my Note 10 Plus, you can see here, right? You see all the red and stuff like that. I don't know if it's because like, you know, the G7X is trying to make me look more, uh, I don't know, more pretty than I actually am. But you know, like here, you can kind of see the red here. Like I've been, uh, I don't know, like I'm sick or something. You know what I mean? So, you know, looking at my Note 10 Plus, I think the camera quality has always been good. That's why I like this phone to begin with because I knew I was going to record videos or, you know, when I go on vacation, record, um, you know, videos of my family or take pictures and stuff like that. That's the reason why I really wanted this camera. And so, like, you know, it always has looked great. And to me, like, this is a great freaking camera. But looking at the G7X Mark III, it looks a bit more professional. I, I really don't know how to put it. Maybe I need to turn the camera on a little bit because it does look kind of dark. But I don't know if it's because of the quality here of how it looks or the screen is much bigger on my phone than it is on the G7X. But I'm really look, digging the look of the Mark III just because like it looks a little bit more, um, how do you say it? It looks more professional, no more video like, like I'm recording a series or a movie or something like that. A bit more professional as opposed to just using my phone, which, you know, no problem with anybody who uses their phone because I know there's many like YouTubers out there who still use their iPhone um, 14 or what is it? <laughs> iPhone 14, the iPhone, uh, I don't know. I don't know which one is which. I have no idea. I've never had an iPhone. So I know there's some YouTubers out there who still use and buy used um, iPhones to like, you know, record content and stuff like that. So uh, this is a comparison of the two. I'm really digging both cameras, but you know, this the, the spotlight is mostly on the G7X Mark III and I'm really digging how the video looks. So let's go outside with the two and see the difference. And then also we're gonna take some pictures to see the quality of the two. Okay, so here I am with the Mark III here outside. You know, I, I can't really be on the damn sun because it's hiding behind all these trees and I'm not gonna walk out in the middle of the street, but you know, this is pretty good sun quality here. It looks even better outside if I'm gonna be honest with you compared to the lights in there. I'm probably gonna have to get better lights that, that kind of reflect the sun so I can kind of get this, you know, version of light. But I mean, it looks great by the way. Like this is, uh, this is, I'm actually really impressed with it. I like that it focuses on my face. I kind of tell that it's kind of hunting a little bit, but um, I'm pretty sure there's a way that I can make it focus just on my face and it don't have to go back and forth. But yeah, man, this is the, this is quality. This is a great freaking camera. I love it. Okay, so let's try out my phone and see the difference. All right, so this is my Note 10 Plus. Um, there is a small difference you can tell i was going to say there isn't but you can kind of tell the difference right here you know like i said like i can kind of see some not blur but you can kind of see the, the the difference in pixelation i guess you can say that and this is the note 10 plus like i said it looks great but the g7x just looks a lot better you know what I mean? So uh, let's take some pictures and try to figure this thing out. So here are results of a couple of the pictures that I took with the camera and with my phone. Now, honestly, my camera took some great pictures. Not to say that the G7X didn't, the Mark III, but you know, I feel I can't really say like, oh, the, the my phone's better because I can't because I'm barely using the camera and I just use the most basic, basic of functions. Just Take a look at something, boom, and snap it, and that's it. That's pr primarily my fault, but you know, the camera works great, and I'm just super, super um, hyped to finally uh, uh, try it out. Maybe, um, you know, in the coming weeks when it starts getting warm outside, it stops freaking raining, that uh, I can go out to the park or go out to an arcade or go somewhere and take the camera with me and start taking pictures and stuff like that. Because, like, I did have a Nikon Coolpix. 
a cool pics a b or something like that i can't quite remember it was a few years ago and i absolutely loved the camera here are some of the pictures that i took using it and to me it took some great pictures like just take a look at these man like the zoom was great the colors like everything came out really beautiful but when it came to the video and i didn't record any video so i can't show you guys anything here but when it came to the video the cool pics was terrible i mean it was really grainy um even in the sunlight in the sunlight it seemed okay but it just didn't have this quality right here like this camera right here is fucking beautiful my phone recorded much better than that nikon cool pics and i was just like i was disappointed right because i'm not going to return it now that i've used it because now there's like an 80 dollars restocking fee that i'm going to have to pay and i was just like you know what screw it you know i'll just stay with it take pictures and stuff like that and i did get some great pictures you know with the family and things like that so it did work serve its purpose work well you know the way that i needed it to but i ended up selling it and like since then i've been really wanting a camera so that's why i did some research and looked for g7x mark ii versus g7x mark iii and the mark ii surprisingly was one that most youtubers who do vlogs who do like these type of videos that they use more often this camera came out in 2020 that other one came out in 2017 16 or something like that i could be wrong don't quote me on that but um the only difference between this mark three that i have and the mark two is that the three has a microphone compatibility which i really wanted because i want to have a whole little setup here to sound great for a youtube video so i was like i need that the other one doesn't unfortunately so you got to go only based on the audio which i'm hoping this sounds great because after doing some playback it doesn't sound good but not to say that the video is not going to sound good i just think that it's a small speaker inside of a small camera so that's going to be the issue there i'm just hoping during editing that it sounds pristine so now that i have the camera i can start doing better lights i can start doing uh, microphones eventually and make it sound real good you know what i mean start taking this thing a little bit more serious but yeah man those were like the two oh and the 4k the, the mark 3 can do 4k and the mark 2 can so they're pretty much both cameras are really similar just very very few um differences in between and this this camera itself the mark 3 isn't as it's expensive but probably like 45 or almost 100 dollars more um more pricier than the mark 2 so it really doesn't matter which camera you go with because i mean they're both the same like i said just one has the microphone input if that's a big deal like it was for me to get the mark three but um overall man this camera looks beautiful i love the video how it looks like right now it looks fucking amazing and i really dig that but yeah man that was my unboxing and quick look at the canon g7x mark three so let me know what you guys think at the bottom of how the camera looks i think it looks amazing it is a bit of a step up from my phone which you know i've really been wanting to do do some things different on my channel i'm hoping to do more scripted stuff you know things to explore a little bit just because i want to expand my creativity and things like that just stuff that i've really been wanting to do since i started my channel back in 20 2019 i believe it was so muchas muchas gracias fam for coming through and kicking it with your boy and if you haven't yet don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know every time i drop one of these so muchas gracias once again and i will catch y'all in the next one all right dudes